Hello everyone, uh, right now I'm going to be doing a quick video review of this oh so shitty device, the VG Pocket Caplet. Um, I mean this is just horrible. Um, these are like one of those knockoff like Game Boys or knockoff Nintendo products that you might see at the store for like 20 bucks or whatever. Except for the bad thing is, is these were actually somewhat popular. Um, not too popular, but more popular than most of them. Um, I believe in like an MP3 player or something I bought, not even related to this. There was this little advertising thing for them. Um, this was like years back, but uh, the, the bad thing is, is that, you know, it's not that this is just shitty. It's that there was like more than one of them. There's like the tablet. This is the caplet. Um, there's a starter kit that's pretty horrible, which is like a little lanyard, like you're ever going to carry this thing around by a string. Uh, fitted case, AV cable, like you're ever going to play this on a TV, that's, that's just pretty bad. Screen guard, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to, not even going to touch that. So, they're advertising it like it's a, some great product, save $5 off an e-guide, um, no one really buys e-guides, I don't think. I think you can just torrent those and get them for free or whatever. Uh, Disney got involved with this very um, poorly executed excuse for a video game. Um, so, I mean, I, I can't really say anything good about it. A uh, little starter kit. So that's a little product advertisement thing that was thrown in some other product I bought. I think it was an mp3 player. This is a instruction book that came with it. Um, it's kind of sad. It tells you every game. So for those of you who don't know, I should have started by saying this. It's pretty much a very cheap, cheap uh, excuse of a video game handheld system. It takes three AAA batteries, um, and it has 50 games built right into it. Um, there's no game cartridges or anything. So after saying all that bad shit about it, you might be asking, why did I get it then? I knew that this was horrible, just from watching other videos and reading so much crap about it online. Um, so then I was like, you know what, I'll search, see how cheap I can get one for, just to see how bad it is for myself. I found this on Craigslist for $10. I don't know how much they were new. Um, I'm assuming, just judging by the popularity, they were probably quite a bit. I mean, these are probably like 50 bucks new or something. I would never pay any more than 10 for it. Like if you see it for 10, you might want to get it just to laugh at it in person and then you can like throw it away or whatever. But let me show you what it is. Um, power button right there. Takes three AAA batteries like I said. AV cable to plug it into your TV. Uh, I think that's three and a half millimeter standard headphone jack. A little volume slider thing. Um, speaker. Uh, YZ AB. Um, Y is just the same as repeatedly tapping A, uh, and Z is the same as repeatedly tapping B. It's got our menu button and our start button, a little directional pad. So let's turn it on. Then you push one of these buttons. Um, screen's kind of bright. It is a color screen at least. Um, so we got our three kind of you know big name games, Space Invaders, Bust and Move, and Burger Time. Then we got just a ton of other games, Sudoku, Box Boy, um, you know, a bunch of weird ones. Uh, more of them. This is 30, 35 to 50 or something. Then a few more bad ones. So press this menu button to go home. Um, if you hold it down, the screen kind of spazzes out and just goes white. It's probably not good for it, but I really don't care. Um, until you just can't see anything but white, then I'll let go of that. So, start. I'll just show you like Space Invaders, for example. Uh, what is shoot? Okay, so A is shoot one at a time. And then, like I said, Y is just like repeatedly shooting. It's like tapping A as fast as you can. Yeah, I'm not going to play it, but 
I mean, it's not bad as far as Space Invaders goes. It plays it. This is Space Invaders, but I don't know why you'd want to play Space Invaders handheld, first of all. And if you did, I'm sure you could just emulate it. Um, you could probably just emulate this on pretty much any other good handheld system anyways, so you would never need a system just for it. Um, let's go back. Bust a move. Let's try that out. I mean, these games are playable, but they're just bad games. Like, if all the games were just amazing, then that would be a different story. But none of these games you have to play. They're all just pretty bad games. Alright, so, you get the idea. Let's go back. Let's try one of these bad games. Um, this one, how about, called Wolfie's Quest. Um, so, you're a little person on a dog, side-scrolling. It looks like you die if you just let the screen keep going. Fair enough. Um, gotta jump over some rocks. Let me turn that volume off, because that's annoying. So, yeah, I mean, these are all just little tiny Flash games at best, and at that, bad Flash games. Like, I would never play these um, to have fun or anything. Like I said, the only reason I bought this was just to see for myself what it was really like. Was it as bad as people said? Stuff like that. And the answer is yes, it is horrible. So, shut that off. Um, I'm going to take the batteries out of this immediately, because I don't want this crappy device using up my energy. So, again, that was a quick review of the VG Pocket Caplet. Um, like I said, I bought it for 10 bucks on Craigslist. I would not recommend this at all, really. Definitely don't pay any more than $10 for it. But if you're looking for something to have fun, do not get this. Don't get this for your kids. Don't get this for yourself. Don't get this for anyone. They're going to be disappointed. Unless, I guess the only exception would be as if the kid was like 5 years old and they didn't have any previous video game experience, they might like this. But for anyone who's ever played another video game in their life, they're going to be very disappointed with this. Or anyone over the age of like 10 in general, they're not going to like it. So, that's about it. Thanks for watching.